Hi, Cheryl. How you doing? I'm fine. Who is this? This is Sue Dillon from high school. I got your number from Tammy. I'm great. I just, you know, I I heard you're really into cross-stitching and crocheting, and I'm just trying to figure something out, so I thought I'd ask. Okay. I'll try to help. I don't know if I can. Okay, babe. So, my cross-stitching, I've done, like, it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot of needlework, too, but I had it sitting out, and my dog, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna cry, Cheryl, sorry. Okay, my dog, my dog. <laughs> my dog got on the table and shit all over. <laughs> and shit all over it, Cheryl. And I, oh, no. I don't know how to clean it. And I was just gonna see if you knew what, what, <laughs> what to do. you could just soak it in something. I don't... Would that damage the thread? Probably not because I've soaked mine. You know, uh, is, this, is this the counted cross-stitch stuff? Yes. Okay. It was um, runny? Oh my god. You might could just have it dry cleaned. That's a good idea, Cheryl. Yeah. You might have just take it and have it dry cleaned. Tammy told me that you would have a good resolution for this because you're the one that does this and you have dogs too and you might have ran into this problem before. Well, all of my dogs have passed away so I haven't really had a dog in a couple of years. So. Oh my God, I'm but, so sorry. That's okay. But yeah, I, I would try, you know, if it's... How big a piece is it? Is it something that can be replaced or well, can you redo it or that's I, a lot of work. <laughs> I know I'm pretty far into it, Cheryl, but uh, you know. I would probably try to take it and have it dry cleaned. Okay, Cheryl, well, you know what? I'm gonna do that and I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, good luck. I I know it's a lot of time and work into that mess. It really oh my, is. you have no idea, honey. Yeah. All right. Well, good talking to you and I hope it works out. Take care. <laughs> All right, thank you, bye-bye. Hi, honey, this is Sue Dillon. I just left your store a little bit ago, and I wanted to let you know that I missed, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I was going number two in your bathroom, and I ended up getting some on the floor, because I'm a hugger. I never sit on those commodes, but I tried to clean it up. I tried to pick it up and put it in the pot, and then I went to wash my hands, because it was all over my, my hands, and... The sink didn't work, so I had to leave the restaurant, the restroom, and I ended up getting some stool all over the, the handles. And I'm embarrassed to say it, but I just wanted to let you know so no one picks up okay. Shigella. We'll get, we'll, we'll take care of it. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, let me know if you need me to come back and help you clean it up, honey. No, 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 no. We got it. I'm sure we got it. No, Thank I, you for calling. Can I ask you one more question, honey? I didn't see any behind the counter. I was too embarrassed to stop because, like I said, I had poop all over my hands. But do you guys sell Virginia Slims at your gas station, honey? Which ones? The ones in the gray box. In a gray box? Yes, ma'am. Oh, honey, menthol all the way. I can't be having nasty breath for my honey. You know I what mean, I'm saying? We have Virginia Slim menthol, but... Okay, honey, I'll be back. I can't find those bad boys anywhere. Yeah, a lot of some gas stations are, like, changing their sales and stuff. But yes, they're trying honey. to ban the menthol cigarette, too. Isn't that just atrocious? Like, what on earth? Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I understand. It's crazy, but they be 
be going crazy up there. It's just them white men in the government. That's what. That's all who's making the decisions, you know. Oh, I know, I know. It's crazy out here. I might as well go ahead and stock up on my menthols. I don't even care if they go stale as long as I'm not tweaking out. Right. Well, honey, you have a blessed day, and like I said, I'm sorry about the restroom. Oh, no, you're fine, you're fine. All right. Bye-bye now. All right. Bye. Hi, this is Sue Dillon. Um, yes, hi, how can I help you? Well, honey, I'm new to the area. I'm new to Vegas. What stays in Ve What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, am I right? But I moved here from Tennessee. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm looking for a new church. I'm looking for a specific type, and I, I came across yours online. And I thought I'd just give you oh, a call. Yeah. Well, we, we're, we're actually, um, we're a Christian church. We're That's located important. right here. Awesome. Okay. Now, do y'all handle snakes and stuff there? Do we what? Do y'all do snake handling there? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, honey. Well, at the very first church I went to, they would speak in tongue, and we would pass a snake around and let it bite the babies. That's how we baptize our babies there. I don't go there no more, but I, don't, I didn't like it. It was traumatizing for me, so I want to make sure I'm not stepping into something like that. That's all, honey. No hate if that's what you do. I just don't know if I can handle that. Hello. Okay, honey. Well, you have a blessed day. I got to get off here. I can't hear you talk anymore. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm going to get off here, but I might see you at church. I'm, I hope y'all don't handle snakes. Bye-bye.